Chinese Taipei here. Stand by for that. Did well to overcome some early nerves, didn't they? Korea. I saw that lead get chopped back and then eventually go into second place. And uh, some faces at the half time. Looked like they've been chasing parked cars. They did well. Dig deep and overcome the Philippines. Yeah, with size and strength and pace. Here we go then, second match today of day one of the 2019 Asia Rugby 7 Series. Hong Kong are going to take on Chinese Taipei in a Pool B match. The second match of today on the men's draw and look at the big names, Hong Kong, Woodward, Coverdale, Boko, Styles, Hood, Webb and Yu Kam Shing. Campus, some real campaigners there, aren't there? Lee Jones, Jack Neville, Tom McQueen, Kadu Lee, Toby Fan. It's a who's who of Hong Kong Sevens rugby. Chinese Taipei, always an intriguing team. Who have they brought? And yeah, we'll just have to wait to see. They just scraped through last year to stay in contention, picking up seventh spot on the ladder to stay at a relegation. Malaysia took that. And we'll reacquaint ourselves with the Chinese Taipei team as they come out onto the field now in beautiful conditions here in Korea. Nice and warm down there, there's a little bit of breeze. We're looking at 26 degrees. And it's a battle of the neighbors, Hong Kong versus Chinese Taipei. If you're watching from Hong Kong or Chinese Taipei, hello. Jed, what do you expect here from this Hong Kong side in Olympic qualifying year? Well, I'm expecting what they expect, which is quite a bit, to be fair. It's been a program that's put together consistently some of the best efforts in Asia. They are the Asian game gold medalists. Webb with the ball. They've got some very, very fine players. Number 12 on your screen there, Yu Kam Shing. He's been all about it for a long, long time in those Hong Kong colours. Coverdale, Do Lee, there's some very, very, very good footy players in this team. Russ Webb puts that one a million miles in the air and it comes back into the hands of Jamie Hood. Straight into it here with Coverdale firing it wide to Russ Webb. Max Woodward's out wide. And can he nail it in the corner? Good defence scrambling across Chinese Taipei. Hugo Styles. to Hood to Yu Kam Shing. He takes a look up and has he got the gas in those legs still? Like he's, looks like he does. There's no shortage of motivation for the campaigner. Just stress testing this defence here. Coverdale looks up. It's taken nicely around the ankles there by Linton Hoy. Hood now. He's the playmaker, the game reader. And he knows when to fold and when to go. This time he goes. Styles bouncing out, spinning, going. Good balance from him. Russ Webb looks up and there's just like five metres to go and Hood has stayed out on that wing and he knocks it over for the first try of this match. And he's very casual about it, isn't he? Hong Kong are underway here in Korea. Well, Jamie Hood, he just seems to be, you call him evergreen now, but he's really in a class of his own, isn't he? I don't know if there's too many players on the Asian circuit that have got the playing background of Jamie Hood. Valuable part of the Hong Kong program. Not just to the seven sides either. Conversion attempt was admirable, but ultimately unsuccessful. A little bit like, a little bit like that hairstyle. Solid start from Hong Kong. Let's see if Russell Webb can put it back on the mark. No Ben Remini this season. He's done his dash, so Russ Webb. Probably the man to fill the big boots of Remini. Here goes Styles on the front foot. Look at the gas from the young man. Well, I call him young. He's not that young anymore. But he has scampered away there for a quick try straight from the restart. He's been away. He's come back. He's been away. He's come back. 
Well, it's hard to believe he's gone away and completed a university degree and come back. I mean, I we still remember that young whippersnapper from about four years ago, don't we? You're, you always feared for him, didn't you? I did. It's good to see him As back soon as he got away from his, from his mother's cooking, he puts a weight on. <laughs> So the conversion's over. It's 12 0 here. And Chinese Taipei, we said it as well in previous seasons, they struggle with these restarts. If Hood gets it on the money, they always struggle to defuse them. And there we go again, just knocking it forward there under the attentions of Coverdale. Hood gets it going. Boko gets a touch. He bounces out a two or three. The big Australian born Hong Kong Scottish player. The big flanker takes it under the posts, and again, the restarts. A source of great concern for Chinese Taipei. Through the hands, and big Boko just bounced out. Almost the entire Chinese Taipei Sevens team there. As the conversion goes over, let's have another look at the big man just shrugging them off. Not a smile from Boko there, he's just all business. Three tries then, and Russ Webb is getting right under those, isn't he, with the pitching wedge. Yu Kam Shing making an absolute nuisance of himself, flying over the stationary defenders, and he gets up and has a go. He wants a turn, and that's flimsy tackling, you've got to say, but you know, everyone looks keen to get on the score sheet early from Hong Kong. Well, Chinese Taipei just don't show much willingness at all at the moment. They've pretty much given up the ghost. They have to show a little bit more grit and determination around the restart if they're going to try and get the ball. Getting the ball in Rugby Union is actually paramount to scoring. If you don't have the ball, scoring becomes increasingly difficult. See, this is often overlooked yet, modern game. You know, they say World Cups are won on defences, but <laughs> there's some truth in that. Here we go then, they're just giving everyone a bit of a touch of the ball. Webb there, bounces off the left twice, bang, bang, pops it up to Coverdale, who's on hand, and everyone looks like they are got coiled springs in their legs. Woodward now wants to take on the last runner. Webb's there, and they're just making this look way too easy. And I don't want to disrespect the Chinese Taipei defence, but... Well, you don't have to, because there hasn't been any. <laughs> there hasn't been any. There is an eagerness, isn't there? I'm not too sure whether it's an eagerness to get in the way. It looks like they're getting in the way by mistake at the moment. I meant more from the Hong Kong side. Oh, actually. they're yeah. definitely keen. Grant, yes. Everyone's bouncing around like uh, there's no gravity down there. I'm totally sure what's happening with the Bjorn Borg. New styles at the moment seems to have caught fire in the Hong Kong camp. It's a great look. Badger-esque. Hood again, just making life absolutely miserable. And again, he jumps, but he loses it forward. And that's always going to happen when you, your arms are facing the other goalposts, the other end of the field. I think we've changed foot there. I think Russell Webb's a left footer, isn't he? Yeah, you're right. Just mixing it up. Yu Kam Shing straight off the back of that scrum there. Russ Webb puts the brakes on, goes again, and timing has run nicely. Styles just trying to throw their weight into that ruck there. Chinese Taipei at least slow them down for a couple of moments. Styles to Woodward. Boko. He looks up and thinks, I'll just have another crack here. Right inside to Woodward. And the two big forwards collaborate on another one. The inside shoulder of these, their opponents, rather flimsy. I feel the determined jaw from Max Woodward when he came away from that. They are all business today, are they, Hong Kong? Well, geez, we did get into a mathematical equation last season, didn't we? Was it in Tournament 2 or Tournament 3, Grant? Can you remember? Well, they were in the cup final, weren't they, in every single event. 
and they're beaten by Japan and all of them. And then, you know, stunned them in the Asia Games final quite satisfyingly for their supporters and team. They went down. I'd help if I was looking at the right, looking at the women's there. Japan 19, Hong Kong 5. That was in Sri Lanka. In the second leg of Korea, Hong Kong went down 28. 19 and in the Hong Kong event they went down 12 nil all in cup finals but come the Olympic qualifier we'll be back at the stadium on November 24th and 5th it'll be a lot cooler than this Japan won't be here it'll be left to the rest to squabble it out for a second spot at the Olympics for Asia it's quite phenomenal really and Hong Kong will be in the mix, as will Korea, Sri Lanka, Philippines maybe. And it's going to be super exciting. And all these players playing for four, playing for selection, playing for their countries to get into the Olympics. Here we go, second half underway. It's 40 nil already. And I've seen some big scores here today in the women's draw. On the field, we see Kadu Lee there in seven. The Wiry Tigers player. Once yeah. again, getting into the mix. Boko now gets on the front foot and just plows straight into Lin Tinghui. Just stops him momentarily. That's a bit loose from Webb. Bounces along the ground. Hood can't get it up. Woodward tidies. Lee Jones is on there as well. Lee Jones, another campaigner. And that's good continuity, isn't it? Webb's going to shrug his way off the final tackle. And exactly 60 seconds into the second half, Hong Kong nail yet another meat pipe. It's raining tries here for Hong Kong. Second try for him. Oh, good build up really for Hong Kong. And again, Preston just thrown a lot of shot a lot of threats. Kadu Lee on the pitch will be interesting to see. He's a man of action. He really can make the wheels and cogs spin when he's out there. Jack Neville's on as well, which is more danger. Number nine for Hong Kong. Good major rugby championship with Hong Kong. Hood goes for the cheeky little short one, but uh, we've got in front of him there. Bit of a timing issue. Oh, possibly a special play. Tom McQueen. And there's the action as well. Chinese Taipei with some absolute rear possession here. They lose it straight away. Boko there gets his big mitts on the ball. Makes a pest of himself. There is Neville. Kadu Lee back to Neville. Into the Chinese Taipei half. Hood fires a big one out to Tom McQueen. First touch for him. Welcome back to Sevens Rugby. Gives it to his old mate Lee Jones. These two collaborating down this left flank. Just flailing arms at him from Chu and Tom McQueen. The T Mac goes in. Good seeing him back on the field. Sevens field. We've seen a lot of his brother Alex on the Seven Series. Certainly have. Not so much of Tom. What a pairing they've been. Look at Jones there. Does well to take the final two tackles. Look at that. Just swats him off. Everyone's in on the action here. Well, everyone's in on the Olympic dream, aren't they? Seven try scorers here. Tries all up, I think. And that'll be factoring in largely to a lot of Hong Kong's selections for this particular tournament and the series in general. Great kick for conversion, Jamie Hood. Slots one in, the old master. But yeah, the 
the Olympics coming up and the shot at getting in there. It's going to be all about qualified players for sure. It's passport holders. We know that Lee Jones swapped his New Zealand passport. Uh, passport to represent in the Asian Games. That would be in remedy. Japanese players won't be eligible unless they decide to do the old switcheroo. Neville now gets the peak feet pumping, pumping the knees. Skips out of one, gets taken down by Wang. It's relentless here. Boko's just probably going <laughs> to put that big friend in. And Sun gets his head down. And that's all he sees is grass as Boko goes in. For try number 10. Good heavens. Well, this is where I let you keep counting, Grant. And we'll hit double figures. And just a general mismatch. As highlighted by that closing shot of Kane Bako. Chinese Taipei defence. Just not up to the job this afternoon. We'll get one more chance to give it a run, though. going to see nine tries actually after that miss from Hood. So nine tries, 45 points. Six conversions. Boko, two for him. Two for Webb, two for Woodward. Yeah, look at that. Just not handled, not managed by Chinese Taipei. It's a bit messy. They get a shot and just taking his eye off the ball. We're missing Huang, aren't we, from last year? Is Huang out there? Well, there's four Huangs, but not sure which Huang is it. <coughs> Huang Po Wei is out there, number five. He's been a bit of a favourite of ours over the series last season. A slender wee man who carried Chinese Taipei a lot. Yeah, had a couple of big front rowers as well, always entertaining. And finally they get it wide here and they get chopped off at the pass there by McQueen. That was Tang Pao Sheng going to ground and look at Lee Jones getting in there and monstering his opposite, winning the penalty. Into the final minute now. And there's Toby Fenn, he's on the field and the Bulldog goes over from close range. It's a Toby Fenn way, isn't it? He is the most like a plough of any Sevens player ever invented. <laughs> the mole. And he won't mind you saying that. No, he'd be quite happy. He'd be chuffed, in fact. And Head down. <laughs> for Toby Fenn, that's a big run. Which is being unkind because he does have a good turn of pace. So that's 10 tries. Hood with the extras on the hooter. And he shades that one to the left. So it stays 62 0. It's a big outing here for Hong Kong. Off to the races. One of the biggest wins we've probably seen. And they look like they are all business Hong Kong. They have absolutely toweled Chinese Taipei. 62 points to nil. And well, Hong Kong will go on to face the Philippines. That'll be a big one later today. 7 5, 16 p.m. local time. Stick around for that one. We're standing by now for the Pool A matches. Sri Lanka versus China up next. Don't go away. There's more action here from the stadium.